Hello everyone, this is Phantom2502 and welcome back to another episode of my Satisfactory Let's Play Update 4. This is episode 75. In this episode we're going to get our cooling system and our heat sinks automated and online. Uh, let's see, I have been doing uh, what I usually do, all the stuff off episode ready to be uh, connected through cables. Uh, let's just see... Alright, I got about 300 cables, that should be enough to do this. And... I will need more reinforced iron plates, but first let's look at our alternate recipes. Classic battery and cooling device will both be good. I think about the classic battery first. And start another hard drive. Alright. Um, yeah, there, there's a one belt I forgot to upgrade that I'll need upgrading, so. From level 1 to level 2, so let's just get that so we have enough. Okay, um, let's get leading edge production done. Might as well do that. Uh, which one is pipes? I think it's the second one. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five. Um, let's see, 100 supercomputers and 50 f fused frames. Where did I put my supercomputers? Ah, over here, alright. Uh, one, two. Then fused frames is over here. It's taking me a few hours to set this thing up, mostly because I need to get uh, more uh, rubber going. All right, so I've added two more stage containers with a space since this is the middle to match the one over there. Um, and also, if this square doesn't work out, like being every item, it'll leave us some space to add more storage in the back here. Um, but anyways, we've added this going to be heat sinks and storage for the cooling system. So that's going to be that. Alright, let's finish our leading edge production. So in doing this, uh, we'll be doing the second uh, turbo fuel recipe because we need more fuel um, for uh, let's see, more fuel for recycled rubber for this. So I decided to do a bit more turbo fuel at the same time. Um, so we're going to have to do a little bit of ex uh, extra... Uh, what is it? Uh, compacted coal on the side. So there's a few different in the things in the build process we're going to be adding in. Alright, let's unlock this thing. So that next episode we can do turbo motors. Milestone reached. Turbo motors can now be constructed in order to build the latest Fixit improved factory buildings, such as the Miner Mark III. A new project part enables progress to the next phase. Might as well put particle enrichment on the list for next time. Alright, so we have everything in that except for the turbo motors to unlock that, so. Yeah, that'll be done in the next episode, but let's just get everything online. First things first, though, is compacted coal. Back to coal. I've made an extension down here, upgraded to level two for here. Uh, this was always 120. I, I split them up. This one going here, and then I added one over here for compact to coal. Made this belt work a little bit tighter, and then put it in. So now we'll be able to do 50 compact coal instead of 25. Um, yeah, I guess we just add it in to. There. All right, that's going. But we also got to bring sulfur up now before we head out to the oil section to do changes there. Um, belt should be fine at 50. Um, that belt, the main belt there, was 
fine for a lot more, but it's at level 4, we're not even close to that. And it's still um, level 1 on the way out, but 50 is going to be fine um, there. Alright. Alright, sulfur mode. Oh, that's interesting. All right, let's see. I improved the belt to level two. All right, let's get this thing working 100%. One twenty 20 a minute. I won't be using the whole thing, but that's fine. All right. That gets her compact to coal, our compact to coal is already going to where we need it to. Our oil se sector, we're on the right. Now we gotta go improve our rubber. up to our tractor. Yeah, hope they fix these like invisible wall things they keep running into. Why am I being stopped here? What's this? What's stopping me here from going further? I mean, really. Maybe it's something to do with the, like, where the tractor loaded him. Maybe it makes some sort of invisible, like, barrier or something. First thing over here to do is to load up each side. Well, water extractor, I should say. Alright. Piping. Pretty much extended the third pipe to have two more. Waters. Um, yeah, that's power generation. This ends up not being power generation. Half of it. Oh no, it ends up still being power generation, right? Because I'm going to be adding turbo fuel to it. Alright, we'll improve that to level two pool. Improve both of these. There we go. Those connect to a pipe. I've upgraded the pipe to level 2 where it needs to be. And everything goes this way. Until I reach this section. Um, you know what, for now, just have an overflow. We'll do 300 on each. There we go. So yeah, this needs 270, but I will have extra and 300. We're not even going to be using that for the second pipe, but that pretty much heads back there. And then we're using this new pipe for water, basically. And it's going to follow the water all the way over to our new, to where we're doing our rubber. This will be your first time doing recycled rubber. Also, since we were having fluctuation problems with uh, water being so close to 600, 
I decided to take the last 30. Hold on, are these things actually still 100% or not? 97, really. Anyway, these should be working a lot closer to 100 now. They have more water on their line. Because I decided to, to change this one to the new line with 30. Uh, brought this up so that the high point's there, so its delivery system hopefully will be a little bit better. Um, right, I gotta work in prove a lot of these. Hold on. Uh, the math has got to be with this one over here. Alright, so this is going to be 37.8%, just so I don't have to deal with packing liquids. Um, hold on. Before we do that, let's get a man going so that get rid of the darn hard drives. Um, okay, cooling device definitely on this one. Then the last hard drive, at least until we uh, get... There's going to be another hard drive hunt after uh, we're done getting uh, all the items in the game, at least automated. Not 100% uh, working on everything, but at least getting some of everything. Then we'll do the, hard, uh, the last hard drives in the game. Alright, so that's going to be 37.8%. Uh, so 37.8 divided by 2, 18.9 more, and I think things are keeping it even between the two of these for heavy oil. Okay, so divide that by 2 again, 9.45, so this needs 39.45. Alright, 39.45. Alright, that's good. Um, how much resin? It's 19.725 resin. 19.725 times 2. 39.45, yeah, that, I guess that was... Alright, so 39.45 resin. Uh, I guess divided by two to get rubber. Okay, so this one needs 19.725. Ah, uh, they can't do that, so 7.3. Uh, maybe I can do that. 6.5. Hold on. I do 19.725 divided by 20. What do I get? 98.625 that I can do alright so that will do that let's add power on the end here so until we get hold on let's improve this to level 3 power cool add that to it All right. obviously our extra water from uh, that we're making from a while ago is going to be put into here. Okay, then we gotta get all this stuff online. Okay, there's a, a pole here. Alright, this one is turbo fuel. And we have 10.8 going into it, 27 going into this way. I think it still needs to be making fuel. Oh yeah, this has got to climb this before coming down. All right, and then uh, the compacted coal will come in this way once it overflows on the other side over here. So once this backs up completely, extra will come. Kind of hard to see. Ah, oh, there we go. I guess it does have some extra. Okay, so, but once that fills up, it will overflow. We're coming back to coal this way. And we won't be using all 50. So, once the line 
backs up from anything over here, it will merge in with the plastic and rubber and go back to base. Um, probably right into the sink because we don't have any containers for compact to cool. At least not yet. Um, okay. That one's into power. And now we're starting the fuel. Okay. Um, next thing to power is that. And we're going to want to delete this. Delete that. Okay, that's good. That's a full pipe. Make that go to here. Put a valve in. Oh, 27. This needs to be 17. We have the exact amount of fuel. I put 10 to this one to go forward to the next thing. This thing needs to be improved for 34 minutes. So there, overflown, and then the rubber out of this will come back. This is a recycled rubber recipe, and it just needs fuel to eventually get here. All right. Um, now, as you see, we've made these two uh, power go straight into power. We've added a tenth power station here. Oops, if I improve that pole. There we go. Now this will be able to come online. And hopefully we'll have things will be better in this section. Now for turbo fuel, kind of wondering. Oh, is there two different poles? Oh, that's interesting. Hmm. All right. Well, six, seven. I guess we'll do that. All right. So these ones are going to be the turbo fuel line. So, anything with the turbo fuel is going to come into here. It's four and a half a piece. It's going to be nine. It's got to climb up first before being used. I'm just wondering whether, because if this fuel line comes up, then comes down, then comes back up, whether that's going to give me some fuel distribution problems. Sometimes, usually, when you go up, it's good to keep the same level, not go down and back up. That could maybe do some bottlenecks. So, we'll, we might have issues of fuel getting to the end here once things are done, especially since it's an exact amount, we don't have anything over, and th this thing over here might create some backflow, um, so I guess we'll see how that works, alright, 37.8, it looks like we're good for a lot of the items there, Yeah, I thought those would be like a hundred. I don't know. Alright, so this one's got to be doing... Okay, we're almost up to 100% this one with turbo. Compact to cool, that's the only issue with this one. How long is that other one going to take to overflow before coming here? Ought to be getting there soon. No, oh, down to 30 something. Alright, well, we have 50 a minute coming now. At least we should be. Well, eventually that should produce some, like, enough coming this way. Plus extra fuel for a little bit won't be the worst thing in the world. Yeah, it's gonna have a problem with compact to coal in a little bit. Alright. 
This one's gaining fuel. Alright, this one's actually starting now. 20 rubber a minute. At least once it gets going. Alright. Should at least produce for now. Let's get the rest of the system done. And working. Alright. So everything goes back out. We've already improved the belts in this section. Um, we are going to need to use our rubber in our uh, bauxite area. So we're going to need to make sure that that programmable splitter takes care of the rubber. And we'll have to improve the belt to level 2. On the level one belt. And that stuff is up here. Alright. This one gas filter, quick wire cable, reinforced iron click computer, other modular frame, and rubber. We'll now go to the right. Um, that's a level five. Yeah, level 2 for the rest of it. Oh, did I keep level 5 the whole way for that? On this side? Looks like I did. Okay. Oh, and it just left. Alright, let's just uh, cue the man. Get the last hard drive done. Uh, out of this one, infused uranium cell is the best one there. And now, until we get the next hard drive hunt, I don't think there's anything remaining. We've got everything done, I think. The only thing not researched is the particle enrichment, which we'll need turbo motors for. Yeah, everything else has been unlocked. That and the last alternate hard drive. Okay. Let's have rubber. Okay, we're getting rubber. Okay. Okay, let's get down and go to our high sucker. Hmm. I just thought that it accidentally went into here. I guess it didn't. All right, let's. Already at 23 minutes. Okay, rubber's done in this section. The increase. Even if it's not all 20, we don't need all of them for this anyways, but we did need to start producing more rubber, because we were right at wit's end with rubbers anyways. After the episode, I might... Uh, come back just to make sure uh, things are working and flowing correctly. This should be okay. So particle enrichment, that'll be the last research. Well, at least until they give us like level nine, level ten research. I wonder if that'll be update five or 1.0. It'd be nice to be able to do stuff with Sam more. Which, just looking at some of the things that are hinted, I think it's you're gonna be able to like change, like uh, like change reality kind of parts. Like it's got quantum computers and stuff like that. I think we needed sand parts. I'm um, hoping the level 6 conveyors will be using sand parts. I've heard I may be uh, being able to switch uh, any raw material with any other raw material. So if you have like limestone, you don't have iron, you can switch it to iron using some sand stuff. Um, what would be nice is a new level of transportation. 
uh, for your items and yourself using like portals or teleportation. So that, that's my hopes for Sam. Yeah, let's get these invisible wall things. Is it really where the other vehicles get loaded in? Does that create like an invisible barrier for me and not have run into it? It's very weird anyway. Yeah, it's been two weeks since I did my last video, and I've just been busy the last couple of weeks, and took a little bit to set up uh, the extra rubber thing stuff, so hopefully we'll do a few more episodes this month, although I think the episodes will be coming down a little bit as we get towards the ending of the game, well, the main parts of the game anyways, before we do the mega build sections. Okay, this I definitely will have to improve the belting. Alright. At least level 2. Level 2. Level 2. Alright. That's done. Okay. Um, I guess we'll see. we can start it here first. So we have some copper sheets, we need 15, so this needs to produce 15 more. So I'll go up to, ooh, I just thought about it, I need water like crazy. Ooh, yeah, what's the water calculation to be to all this? Hmm. Should I take care of water first? Yeah, I think I should take care of my water needs first. All right. Alright, so this one needs 50. This one produces 30. Alright, as you see from this production of 30. Thing is, it should keep low first, so so it should hopefully concentrate down this one before going up the pipe that way. We'll see how that works. That should be uh, 15 more used. So it's 35 extra, and then this one. It needs to come up to 25. Let's see how much water that takes. I'll put the copper sheets online. Actually, the copper sheets should just be put on one now. Minus 6.667. Be 41 this way. I think that's all the water elements. Hold on. No, this needs 30 water as well. For the cooling system eventually. Oh no, not 30. Sorry. Right, it's a percentage. Uh, 10 more. One third of 30. 10. Okay. I don't think there's any other water. We're down at 51.67 needs to go this way. Uh, give it a little bit extra. Say 55. Um, okay. And then the other way. What does this produce? It produces 90 water. Um, 90. Minus 51.667. 38.333. Okay, so let's put this one to like 39. Alright. So if we have 
39 coming this way. Alright. This means what, 150? Actually, it wouldn't be 39, it'd be 38 probably at the most. Minus 180, minus 150. So we need to be producing 292 water. Well, at least we don't have to upgrade the pipes. It's 292 can fit. Uh, 120, 240. So we add 240 to that. 52 we need out of the last one. Might as well just do 60, I guess. Ah, 55. We'll add a little bit extra to these. Might as well. Alright. That should hopefully handle the water needs. I better go turn on everything else online. Alright, that's producing. So that's going to come through here, up here, in there. I've also diverted the battery line to be on top and the cooling system to be there. I've upgraded the belts to be level 4 here where it's needed. This one should be fine, level 3. Everything's going to go upstairs. Um, changed. Oh yeah, I brought the nitric, uh, nitrogen pipe through. Good thing with the nitrogen pipe is I don't have to worry about head lift. So I brought that through this for the cooling system. Oh, I guess we do the cooling system after we do up here. Okay. Uh, let's get the heat sinks online. This one. Alright, so heat sinks you're going to use we're 25 output lumen sheets a minute because we have 30 already making. I didn't want to extend that one, so 25, there'll be 5 left for construction needs. 15, which we're making uh, downstairs for copper sheets. That creates 5 heat sinks a minute, running this at 66%. So that should hopefully all be good. And obviously, I extended this to be able to handle this and downstairs still goes that way and this one will merge in with the fuse modular frames to go that way 98 don't see any issues and the heavy, heavy modular frame seems okay Let's get the cooling system done downstairs and then end the video. Alright, so cooling system. Uh, since I do need stuff from upstairs, I built it down here because it needs water. Um, so I decided to, after it comes upstairs and goes into here, I put a smart split here. And that's where the rubber and the heat sink get diverted. And that will be needed for this. Oh, that reminds me, we've got to add in nitrogen, which we haven't yes, yet. Alright, so. Um, yeah, 150 divided by 3. We'll need 50 more nitrogen gas. Uh, heat sinks were already started. Rubber, I guess, we have to wait until we get a supply uh, from our oil sector. And that'll start making that. But that's everything powered in this section. Um, right, what's the only other thing using the gas? Fused frames, isn't it? 18.75. So we're using 50 plus 18.75. We need at least 
6875 on gas. We can make it a little bit more than that. All right. All right, and there we are. We're going to get some rubber in. Okay. That's good. We got our first supply of rubber, and that will help our cooling system uh, get online over here. Oh. All right, let's increase our nitrogen gas flow. still get this? No. Alright, still a problem there. Alright, this one needs to be... Let's just improve it to like 75 a minute. There we go. Alright, so that should be everything I think for this episode. So we get that gets I think everything online at 36 minutes. Our cooling system is actually running. Anything in here? Do have copper sheets now coming into here. Which is interesting. I don't think we have copper sheets coming in. They should be coming into here. Okay. Now this is running at around 100%, so should be good. Cooling system. Got a water, got a nitrogen gas. Rubber still seems to be idle though. And it is diverting rubber. Okay. Maybe just had to wait for the supply to start coming in. Alright. There we go, now it should be starting to make some cooling systems. Got everything working there. Water flow still okay. That one seems to be doing okay. It should really be around 10. Ooh, this needs to be increased. Yeah, because we're only doing 10, this has got to be 41. about that. That means this one's been, yeah, suffering down 39%. Yeah, yeah. It's almost a miss there. Now they should keep improving. Hopefully, unless there's other ones I'm missing. Alright, so that goes that way. It should be 10 and... 41. 
any other piping issues. Ten more there. Interesting, it's not really consistent. Oh, it's only at 82%. Why? Ah, oh, the water has nowhere to go. Hmm. Looks like it should be able to do that now. We did make this a little bit higher than what it should consume on the other end. We did have that 41 thing that wasn't allowing things to go through. This is now back up to 100%. Alright, that's good. And this is hopefully more consistent. 40.2 uh, going that way. Alright. Anything over, I think, 51 is good, right, I think, on this side? Right, let's make sure all the water is good. Yeah, here the water is good. Nitrogen gas seems good, too. Alright. Water seems to be good here. Oh yeah, 75% needs sulfuric acid, right? This will need to regenerate its water flow. It should be getting back into water. Should be helping this get back to normal. All right, looks like we're all good, pretty much. All right, so I'll end the episode here. Um, I'm Phantom2502, and uh, thank you for watching my let's play of Satisfactory Update Four. Uh, we got our pooling system heat sinks now automated. Uh, next episode, uh, we're going to be looking at getting those turbo motors automated so that we can unlock part of film enrichment. But uh, obviously, to gather 100 uh, turbo motors, we won't be doing the unlock next episode. That'll be two episodes from now. Uh, but next episode, we'll get the turbo motors in line. Anyway, I'm Fanny2502, and thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye bye.